Goosebumps is rated GB7 because it may be too spooky for Goosebumps fans under 7. Hello, Goosebumps fans. Time for the final one. Why did it not get episoded? Why not? Oh, man. This one. Oh, I see that the outlining would have been so unbelievably crazy. It's not even funny. Not to mention the fact of the trauma of getting hit in the face. <laughs> the fact of you were telling me that we need one of our kid actors to get hit in the face. What? But I'm like, I doubt it would. It'd just be more like it'll be gesture hit in the face and then it'll be like, oh, stop like quick. So they do it and then switch the camera and then bam, the camera gets hit. Yeah, there we go. That's most likely what happens. I think the CGI might be an issue too. I think Sunji would agree. It's like the CGI, the whole bleh, coming out part would be most horrible and hard to do. I don't think it would have even came out right. They most likely have to do something different. And I think it's like they would most likely even change it to what I was saying. It's a shapeshifter. He'll just most likely turn into like Alex Mack, which Alex Mack was of this time. So it's just Alex Mack where he's just going to go into that horrible blobby mess that we see in the book. On the book's cover. So it makes sense that that's what's going to happen. So it's going to just be shape-shifting. Or it's like, then they're like, okay, well, if he's shape-shifting, that means that we're going to use shape-shifting to our advantage. So that means that he's the dog. He's going to be Ginny, um, Ginny when she comes to the house, not Ginny all the time, just Ginny when she comes to the house. Uh, he'll be the telephone. <laughs> it's like It's like, yeah, there's going to be lots of things now where it's like, and now they're going to implement the fact that he's a shapeshifter. And as for the crazy stuff, I think they can do that too. The only thing is that, again, CGI might be the issue here. But considering, look at Mask Mutant. Look what they did with Mask Mutant. You're telling me that Mask Mutant would cost too much to do too? They, they did it. They did it. So it's like, there's no way how they can actually do that. And it'll just be like a few times. That's it, just a few times. And wait, when it comes to Gwenny, did Gwenny actually turn smaller? Because she's the younger sister now. So it means that if they do have Gwenny there, and plus note, they're going to most likely cut the dog. The dog will be cut from the, the TV show because that's what they did. My Harris Adventure is like, how the frig did that even happen if they don't really want to have dogs in the freaking show? Revenge of the Guardian Gnome. No dog. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Um, my best friend's invisible. Well, that was a cat, but still. Animals were hard for them to do. It'll be a shocker if they still keep the dog, but considering the dog didn't do much except for this one part, why would they even keep the dog? So that's one mess up thing. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't go with the squirrel. They could. They could go with the squirrel scene. I think they could. Is there really anything else that's messed up? Well, there's going to be a school where you have the teacher. I think they most likely won't do that. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I don't think Mr. Bailey. It's like, yeah, Dr. Bailey, I don't think they're going to do the three people. If they're going to do the three people, I think it's like going to be someone from the staff, but I doubt they'll even go with the three people. Hospital, well, did they? Yeah, I think they did hospital at least once. Schools, it's like, the thing is that Don't Go to Sleep actually is one of the ones that's like, it kind of actually did do this. So they wouldn't really have issues of being like, oh, we can't do it because of this location. Oh, we can't do it for that location. I'm pretty sure the school part will be one thing where you're like, oh, if we're going to use the school part at once, that's it. Just one. Then we're going to just exchange it and turn it into something else. It must likely be like something about a therapist or the doctor or the doctor comes to the checkup and he's just been like, OK, son, well, tell me. How did you feel when you were at the hospital? And it's like, I was at a hospital. It's like something like that, where it's like, and there you go. Because you got rid of the hospital. You got rid of the teacher in the school. It works. And that's the only thing else that they could do. I think that's about it. The mom changing clothes. Oh, that should be easy. 
um, having to make a, it's like, they're going to have to most likely cut, they're going to cut a character. They're most likely will cut a character and heck, they'll even go crazy enough to be like, and Keith turns out to be, or they'll be like, oh, Gwenny's the one who's going to be playing pool. Jeremy, who's Jeremy? No, we're not going to have a Jeremy. <laughs> it's like, they might even just exchange it and be like, oh, Jeremy's Keith. So now Keith is playing pool with them and he doesn't know that is Keith. <laughs> I guess technically when it comes to my my bad hair day, they did have one kid that showed up then didn't show up for the rest of the episode. So I'm like, it could happen where it's like Jeremy could actually still be a part of the show, this episode. I think that's about all that's really going to happen. So why this show was an episode? Why was it a, this book was an episode? It's also because of the CGI issues, uh, outlining, which... These guys are geniuses, but I'm pretty sure they looked at him like, oh, hell no. <laughs> it's that, it's like they jumped. It's like, notice how they jumped. They went from, okay, you have, they even, they did werewolf skin. They did werewolf skin. They jumped over, they jumped over, I live in your basement. They jumped over Monster Blood Floor because, well, of course, it's tradition. <laughs> and then they went to Cry of the Cat. Well, Cry the Cat wasn't the first one, was it? No, it wasn't even the first one. What the frick? And then it went Bride the Living Dummy and, of course, Cry the Cat. And they did some other ones. So they jumped around, but it's like they didn't even just continue on with what they had. They were like, oh, we got to jump all over the place and make our own one, too. And it's like, yeah, don't forget about the short stories. We want to do the short stories because short stories are easy to outline. They're very easy to do. And it's like, well, that's good for you, but... Let me just say, though, it does seem like a bit of a cop out. 74 episodes, 62 books, maybe 64 books, and you just copped out with your outlining idea because you're scared to outline it. I'm sorry, but we have to say it. It's like I would prefer you try to at least outline it, have it done, and then it's like, oh, well, the budget's not in it, so... Okay, next. So it's like, I would prefer where you have like all the scripts ready for once that's like, okay, if we get more budgeting, we could do these episodes and we just tuck these away. Makes sense. They didn't do that. They were like, oh, outlining. Oh, well, I don't think we can do this. Okay, next. It's like, what the fuck? You can still do it. It's like, there's no way how you can get yourself roadblocked and I'm pretty sure at this point, we're at the point of where the writer said we can quit because the book before this one was Werewolf Skin and the corporate had some issues with it. They had to do lots and lots of rewrites. They had to do like four rewrites in all, I think. It's either four or seven. I forgot which one. I forgot which one had it. Yes, my apologies, but they had to do a lot more rewrites, more demands. So that means that even this one would most likely have demands, too, from the corporate where they have to change it up, too. So that makes sense why they would not do this one, not because they're scared. It's because the corporate would most likely eventually be like, oh, well, hmm, concussion's not a good idea for us. Or the imagery that you're doing with the monster morphing and the monster looks hideous. And it's like, I'm pretty sure it might be okay, but still, I don't know for sure. So it's a pity that this one wasn't episoded. I would have liked to watch this episode instead of waiting how many years? What, 1997, 98? And now it's what, 2021? Do you see how long it took for me to actually be like, okay, now I understand this book now. Okay. Yeah, you see, it took decades. It took fucking decades instead of being like, oh, well, we're going to make it an episode. Okay, enjoy. <laughs> just saying, just saying. I understand the CGI might have been costly, though. CGI might have been costly. And, well, they're not as skilled as me when it comes to outlining. Oh, I said it. I said it. I said it. There's just some things that you can outline if you think about it. But these guys were in a rut. No offense. And I'm like, there's many books that you say that you can't outline. But I'm pretty sure there's many of us who can actually say, I can outline it for you. I can outline it for you. I can make it good. 
this is not something that you just toss away. This episode should not be tossed away. This book should not be tossed away and not turn into an episode because you can outline it. There's many people out here who can outline it. There's many people who can outline many of these books. And yet, y'all guys are just not up to snuff when it comes to certain books. Sorry to be a jerk. And if it is the CGI, I would still like to say that in your interview, instead of saying outlining, say that budget issues as well. But they didn't say it in the interview. They said outlining was the real reason why book seven wasn't done. And it's like, <sighs> you know that there's so many fans out there who did so many fan ones where they were like, here's how we're going to outline this freaking book. It might be even some who actually are like, okay, let me look at your style. Let me look how the CGI works for you. Let me look at all this budgetary stuff. And now let me make your outline for you. Bam, outline, pay me. And it's like, yeah, you see, there's people out there who can't outline it. And it seems like certain books you can't outline because you're just not good enough. Ooh, sorry to say that, but there's many times where there's some times where you're good enough to make good ones. And there's some times where you just ran for it and there's someone else who could have done it better than you or done it actually at all or made an attempt. I'm pretty sure the outline that I did for this show, this freaking book here, and I'm like, okay, cut cost of stakes, no dog. You don't have to have the school. You don't have to have this. You don't have to have that. The CGI might be an issue, but if Alex Mack can do it, how come the frick can't you? If you did it in Mass Mutant, I don't understand how you can't do it here. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. It doesn't have to be good. I mean, look at the blob day, everything. Look at that blob. What the f <laughs> It's like it doesn't have to be good just as long as you're able to do the story in a decent budget. Anyways, I'm going to leave now. Have a scary day. Have a scary night.